in this tutorial we would be learning about software development life cycle it is very important for software testing professionals to know about software development life cycle and how software testing plays a very important role in software development life cycle so let us start the topic software development life cycle Software development life cycle may be defined as a systematic approach with the aim to develop software application. In other words, we can say that it is a process which is followed by software developer and software testing professionals and other software professionals who are required in software development process. So since it is followed by all the professionals involved in software development, so it is important for software testing professionals as well. There are various stages of software development life cycle, which are also called as phases of software development life cycle, which are given as below. First is requirement gathering, then analysis, then design, then coding, then testing, then deployment and maintenance. First is requirement gathering. It is most important phase in software development life cycle. Business analyst get appointment from the client, from client and collects all the requirement from client in a predefined template. All the requirements are documented in the form of business requirement specification. One thing to be noted here is that document name may vary from one organization to another organization. In some organization, business requirement specification may be called as customer requirement specification or business requirement document or business document, etc. Business analyst plays a very important role in this page and outcome of this document is business requirement specification. Second phase is analysis. After the requirement gathering is done, next stage is analysis where requirements are approved by customer. One thing to understand here is that this document is not the same as business requirement document, but it is little different. where all the product requirements are properly documented and get approved by the client by client main content of this product document that is developed in the form of software requirement specification is design and what will be developed during software development life cycle key roles involved in this phase are project manager and other key members of the team and outcome document that is generated in this phase is software requirement specification which is also called SRS. Next is design phase. In this phase technical architects and senior developers design the architecture of the software to be developed. High level design and low level design are generated in this phase. High level design is software application design that acts as a guideline for software development team. Low level design covers all the features which will be working in relation to each other. It also contains the design of the application. Key roles in this phase are technical leaders and senior developers and outcome of this phase is high level document and low level document which works as a guideline for the development team next phase is coding or development phase in this phase developers are involved who are responsible for writing code for building the application using various programs and codes It is very important phase where actual building of the application takes place 
key roles are development team who is responsible for developing the application and outcome of this phase is source code document next comes comes testing phase after software development is complete then it is deployed in a testing environment where software testing professionals are required to test the, all the functionalities of the application and check whether the software application is fulfilling all the requirement of the customer and meeting client expectation if there is any detected defect then it is reported to the development team and testing team is responsible for getting it fixed after bug is fixed and verified by the testing team then it is ready for deployment key roles in this stage of software development life cycle is software testing team and outcome of this phase are various software testing documents next come deployment and maintenance after successful testing is over and good quality product is ready to be delivered to the client next stage is deploy deployment where developed application has to be deployed to the required target location which is generally client's place deployment or implementation is done in the target environment in order to check whether a software application is working properly in the desired environment and sort out the issue related to deployment if there is any key roles are deployment or implementation engineers who are responsible for successful deployment of the application at the client location maintenance is done as per the agreement that is already defined in the contract which is project contract this is all about software development life cycle it is very important to know all the steps of software development life cycle especially for software testing professionals to understand the flow of the application and understand the role of testing team in software development life cycle and where software testing is placed in software development life cycle and when all the testing activities will start after which phase and what is the next phase after sub software testing phase so once we are clear with software development life cycle concept we can understand the concept of software testing in a better way thank you